Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> hello, chat. Oh my fucking goodness me, I'm I'm in a new house, chat. Uh, 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 fucking, uh. <laughs> it's all weird. Apologies if you can hear some uh, oh, some sound blowing yeah. there. Or I do have a little fan on today. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How are we all doing? It is Sunday uh, afternoon. Sunday afternoon, quarter past one. Good to have you all in today. Um, yeah, hopefully everyone's kept well over the last week. I'd like to thank you for your uh, patience, being patient with me. Um, but I have uh, moved in. I've officially moved in. Um, I've been moved in for the last couple of days. But I've kind of been, uh, you know, going through my paces, using the toilet, making sure it works, that kind of thing. God, she's here, chat. She's here. God help us all. God help us. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, welcome everybody. Good to have you uh, all along for the ride uh, today. Um, <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> Just cough crumbs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so how are we all doing? How have you two settled in? We've settled in really well, Ash really well it is a nice house there were a couple of things that we're trying to uh or were trying to figure out the boiler for one of them 
We had a whole palaver with the boiler. There is no video. There should be video. Try refreshing it, error. New house for both of you? Where are you now? Um, for the sake of not having any stalkers, I am going to loosely interpret um, the location as Stourbridge slash Dudley uh, side of Birmingham, if you know that. Uh, but that's where I we are now. Said the south side of Brum. South side of Brum. Wait, is it south? Is it the south side? South Southwest? West. Southwest side of Brum. Lovely. Uh, what game is this? Horror or comedy? A bit of both with me. A bit of both. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to see everyone. Hopefully everyone's been keeping well. Um, how, are people, how have people been uh, for the last uh, week we've been away? Just nuke Birmingham. How dare you? Oh, how very dare you? Mr. Yeah. Sugar Daddy Brad, thank you very much there for the tier 3 sub. Good to have you in today, sir. Um, but yeah, we've uh, just been, you know, getting used to the place. It still feels weird. It still feels like I'm on holiday or something, and that I should be going home like in the, in the next like couple of days. But obviously, this is it. This is me for the ne at least the next couple of years, providing we don't burn the place down, um, or or something. So, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> As if you're arguing. No. <laughs> what? <a> <laughs> <laughs> they're like <laughs> they're like the really dry tuck biscuits. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I've tickled her chat. Christ almighty. Thank you very much there to Aaron480 for the tier 1 sub there. Hey, uh, my, <laughs> I named my bet put, bet pet budgie after you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Joe, oh, <laughs> Cube, or yeah. Chonk. I don't, it's, no, good to have you in, sir. Welcome. Uh, thank you also to Tay Crispy for the uh, tier 1 sub for 8 months. Rolling back a little bit, we've also got a thank you, thank you Rogue uh, for your 19 months, sir. Very, very kind. And uh, if I tick and untick this, I should be able to see all of these Yep, crash burn mame as well. I don't know whether I caught you. And also crazy glitch. Thank you to both of you uh, for the uh, 22 months for crash and for the seven months for crazy. Very, very kind to have you in. Congrats on the move. New beginning. I know. I know, I know, I know. And long you back. Can't stay. Just wanted to come by and say congratulations on the move. Thank you very much, Hobgoblin. Um, and I wish you uh, all the best on your, your, your merry way, sir. Um, thank you also to Jimmy Frame. Oh, you moved in. Congrats, mate. Absolutely deserved. It's, it is a nice place. There's still a few things that we need to do with it. The curtains that we have are temporary curtains. Allow me to enjoy my new party piece here. We got a, a, a fridge. Uh, like it's like a top, not an American style freezer, but a top and bottom um, like fridge freezer. So fridge on the top, freezer on the bottom. It's a little bit more standard here in the UK. Um, and it's got like rather than it being plumbed into the water mains, it's got like a four and a half litre water tank, so you can get like chilled water out of it. Enjoy a glass of that now. Okay, see the lovely other half. Deliberate loud slurp. Delicious. J5. Sadly, I can't get cats because it's expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. Um, the uh, the way that it works is because obviously cats, especially kittens and stuff like that, tend to have a nice wee on the rug, and pretty much every room except the kitchen is carpeted. Um, there's like a twenty-five pound a month bump in. Is it 25 or 75? 75. 75 pounds a month bump in the cost of renting the place if you have a pet per cat. Per cat yeah, so it's pretty, pretty crazy. So basically, for the la they don't want cats here, basically, or dogs or anything else like that. So we've just been, uh, yeah, enjoying each other's company for what it's worth. Hey. Hello, Tate. Good to see you in. Get a pet rock. Now that I can abide by. We had a couple of baby pet rocks in, and of course, I mean stones from the driveway. Um, I, I tell you what, the day that I moved in, because Jane's been moved in a couple of days before me, um, the first thing I did when I got here was uh, <laughs> tread, tread dog shit on the carpet. Because <laughs> some, some lovely individual had taken a dump on the grass verge. Um, and uh, yeah, then I fucking <laughs> spent my time scrubbing that out. What about Satan? Staying with me parents. Uh, she was my parents' cat, so. Um, name it Clive. Ah, oh, there's a reference. Lovely. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I come in, tread dog shit on the carpet, and then Jane's been living in a studio flat. You right? Jane's been living in a studio flat for uh, the last, like, two years. 
so she hasn't had a bath. So I, I drew her a hot bath and she got in and she was soaking and then phew, nature, nature called. She came kicking and, and then, kicking and, and then. screaming. <laughs> she was so upset. <laughs> oh, there goes the coaster. This motherfucker takes a dump toilet right next to me. It makes for good. Well, I'm in the bath. You know, it's a it's a great opportunity to have a have conversation. You know, you're in the bath. And I'm it's on the... a stanky one. Point where I have to get out of the bath. Only one of us thought it smelled bad. <laughs> She's so unimpressed. I waited two years to finally have a bath. And this is how he ruins it. I mean, I'll put bubble bath in there for you. <laughs> anyway, games. Long, long dark. Let's have a look here. So, um, I've been playing a little bit of VR, cause, um, and I tell you what, my fucking Oculus Rift headband is... It's, it's very sweaty. It's very sweaty. I've been playing um, a little bit of Beat Saber, and I've been playing uh, quite a bit of Blade and Sorcery. First casualty of war of Blade of Sorcery was was the light bulb. I've got to get a new light bulb today for the lounge. Because I, I didn't smash it, but I hit it and the, basically the filaments like dislodged. So I've got to get a new bulb for the light for the for the lounge here. Which will be nice. VR streams incoming? Absolutely. Yeah, I've been enjoying Blade and Sorcery. Just getting used to the mechanics and figuring out where not to swing my hands and stuff. I've I've like really badly scuffed all of that. Was that me, was it? I'm pretty sure that was. Ah, well. Probably what? Never mind. I'm pretty sure all of them Keep are. Keep that change, you be fine. Animal. Shadow Killer, thank you for the five pounds. Relationship goals 100. Shit, the worst shit you ever did while your GF is taking a bath. So she can't escape the smelly smell. So Shadow understands. I'm getting stared at. All right, okay, let us jump into the game here, shall we? Let's actually, uh, let's rock and roll with some long dark there. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with the, with the house and very happy with the move. The, the whole fiasco with the boiler was that um, the boiler pressure was quite low. Um, if you know anything about boilers, it was about, it was, ju it was just, um, when the boiler was off, it was holding at about one bar. And then when you actually turn the boiler on, it dropped down to about 0.8 of a bar. Um, and we opened up oh, the bottom of the boiler and we were yeah. having a look around and we found like a lever that we thought would add water to the system, but it was actually like a bleed. Oh. My sound up. What do you mean? Because your voice. Is that right? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, how am I going to do that? Bear with me, chat. Turn the alert. Mm, I could do. But then if the game's going to be loud, let me see if I can just crank my volume up by just a smidgel. Let me see here. If I go to sound, settings, and then if I go to control panel, and then recording, um, disable the Oculus microphone for the moment, and then this guy, levels, let's bring him up to like Let's bring him up to 58. Does that sound a bit more pronounced, chat? Or does that need to go up a little bit more? I'm trying not to get it into the red too far. I mean, hopefully that's a little... Someone's going to have to sub. Someone's going to have to do something. Thank you very much to Poet as well. Good to see you in there. 12 months. One year, it's been a pleasure, friend. You know, the pleasure's been all mine. The sun is actually setting. Hopefully that's a base boost it. I think that's a terrible idea. We'll take it up a little bit more. Sounds fine from my end. I'll bring it up to six sixty-one, and hopefully. That Welcome, chat. I think the uh, I think actually the sound from the fan is getting in a little bit, so I'm just going to turn that off. Right then, let's see here. There's a lot of six out of tens there, and a few deaf people. I did eat. A, I did did actually have a banana for breakfast, so it's a true Wonderful. story. Right, a TLD you then. Let's, oh, five pounds again from Blade. Does this work? I hope so. I hope that's okay. It's kind of weird because like my microphone arm is kind of dying. <laughs> like I've ordered some new ones, and I've ordered a Rode NT USB. I, d I did get it from a different uh, retailer than Amazon. I, it's just my fiddle toy. It's my stress toy. I'll get you a stress toy. Don't go bury me. Okay, I shall leave him upon the shelf. <laughs> we got a backseat driver. For the... <laughs> I 
Okay, let's uh, jump into the game here. Where is it? Up here. Oh, hang on. Oh, I need to set up Steam Family Sharing. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's see here. Um, library. No, Family. Authorize Family Sharing. Please select an account. Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. And then... Let's see here. I think I need to change Steam accounts for a moment. Just give me a hot second here, chat. Uh, the Rode NT-USB is such a nice mic. I got one as well. Fantastic. Yeah, I've been... I actually had one ages ago and broke it as soon as I got it. <laughs> like, I fucking... I got myself, like, a pop filter that covered up the 3.5mm audio jack, and I tried to, like, basically force it into the jack, despite there not being enough room, and I basically made it so that the 3.5mm jack was just became really wobbly through, like, an afternoon. And, uh, yeah, screwing. It, uh, it broke. So here I am on an AT2020. And the AT2020 is a, a lovely microphone. Like, I have, I have no no hate for the AT2020. But I think the Rode NT-USB is just better. I don't remember my password. There we go. I think I'm in. I've just got to activate Family Sharing because I've got most of my Steam games over two accounts. Let's see here. Uh, so here, Settings, Family Share, Authorize on this computer... Is it going to... There we go. Share with that account. Okay. And then I think I can switch back. And then we should be good to go. So log out from there and then we can load up the game. Do you still have the broken mic? Um, no. I don't think I do anymore. Um, I think I... I yeeted it, unfortunately. Um, this was a while back, to be fair. I did get a lot of old stuff. You I had like one or two ancient blue yetis. Thank you very much there to Kublin. Oh, I need to change the mini feed so I can see the whole thing here. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, this guy, mini feed, legacy events. That's what I want. And then if I go back to here, then this should change. Hypothetically. No, mini feed, legacy events, save changes. There we go. I should be able to see the whole alert now. Let's see whether that works. Recent giveaways. There we go. Just going to say, while looking around in my language class, I found Victorian slang. Um, X example. Um, he is very off, off, and off, which means he's had many offs. Offs mean half pints of booze. Continue the. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Beautiful. I don't think we. Uh, you're, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> might be a bit lost on you if you go to a pub here. Let's see then. So I need to go to this guy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Mr. Hot Potato, I saw you followed there. If you're in chat, say hello, sir. They don't bite. Sometimes. Uh, I think two of them. I think that's right. I don't actually remember my password first time. Go figure. Right, so, oh, it's got an update queued, so I need to just, I need to update the long dark. That's right, they added a new update, didn't they? They added spray paint. That's right, Fearless Navigator, the update. They've, okay, we're just going to have to wait a moment while the game updates. Just give us a minute. Um, let's see. Lovely. Um, yeah, so the Fearless yeah, fearless Navigator update, they've added, like, a can of, like, trail paint. And it's, uh, yeah, the, it means that you're able to, like, mark trees and stuff and you're able to see things on the map. They've also made the map a bit more intuitive, which is, uh, you know, nice. It's nice. Also, my internet's... Been very good. Oh, we've actually looped around to the end of it. I've never actually seen it. 20 minutes we've been live. Still no gameplay. We're working on it. We're working on it. Can have another string. Can it can it recover the arrow? I don't think so. Oh, oh, I'm so upset. How's the house? It's really, really good, Meatball. I'm I'm really enjoying it. Got me new fridge, me new washing machine, me new desk. I've got two new computer monitors. I've actually gone and got Jane's computer monitors. Whilst I was streaming over at Herd, I actually liked them so much that I thought, you know what, I, I need these in my life. So I've got them, yeah, I've got them installed on my computer now. Um, I'm ordering a third one that I can potentially stand vertically, because I've got um, the main one in front of me and then one to the left. I'm thinking of having a third one to stand vertically, um, probably somewhere behind me so I can keep ignoring Twitch chat, but you know, what can you do? I've got my VR stuff set up now, which means it's just a case of grabbing it. I'm just kind of waiting for the sweatband to uh, be less moist before I uh, carry on playing with that. Um, but yeah, VR streams, hopefully coming um, soon-ish, because uh, I've been really enjoying it. I'm awful at Beat Saber. Um, I can only really do, like, medium or hard difficulty. I, my, my tiny brain cannot handle anything faster than that. Um, I've, I can get sort of two-thirds of the... Well, uh, uh, generously, about a third of the way through this one song on Expert, but... 
That, that is it. Oh dear, that's it. You stole our monitors. That's the one. Yeah, you got the same as. Yeah, two of the same monitors. Yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't leave a monitorless. Although it's an idea. Okay. Right. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Lovely. Game's ready to go. I'm going to scroll down over here. Try and find the capture window for the long dark. It's one of these smelly things. I'm trying to find it. Where are you? Hello? I'm going blind, chat. I don't have my glasses. I'm not sure. Still haven't repaired them either. Where is it? There it is. Game scene. I can read. Lovely. And then we can tab in over here. Now, this one is going to be, like, quite tricky because, like, the usual benefit of me not being able to, like, see... Because I've got one... I used to have one of those really hi-fi, like, 144 hertz monitors. How big are the monitors? And are they 144 hertz? They are 24 inches across, and they are 60 hertz. Um, and there's there's quite good reason for that. I I am I am of, of an age. Right, I'm getting hair in my ears, hair in my nose. I can't really tell the difference between 144 hertz and 60 hertz, really, to my eye anymore. And uh, I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> Even if I could, even if I could figure that out, I've, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't have the reaction time for 144 hertz and 60 hertz to really make a difference between the two. Maybe for a, for a, oh, we need to show them the apron. We kind of do. I'm 22. I'm an old man, Bryce. I'm an old man. The fuck are you talking about, Q? I'm older than you. No, it's, look, okay, you know, old, I'm older in spirit. <laughs> Chat's upset. Chat's upset. Glug, glug, glug. Anyway, yeah. The, the point being, um, 60 hertz monitors. I, I quite enjoyed using them. I, I really enjoyed the size. Um, before I had a 26, 27 inch monitor, um, and I actually didn't like that. Um, a bigger monitor is only good if you're further away. Um, as I can see here, I can look at the center of the screen now, where we are at the moment. God, what are these key bindings? Radial. Man I think this is fine. I don't know if anything's changed. I'm just going to move on, I guess. Survival mode, resume. Hopefully this will be okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Right then, so we've come back inside. That is right, we are recovering from a lovely dose of intestinal parasites. I believe that's our adventure today. So let's see here. So yeah, hunting rifle, everything there. Perfect rifle ammunition, plenty of flares and stuff. I forget what we were doing, what we're in the middle of doing. Oh, I, I can instantly see a, re, a key binding that I need to re-put re, uh, re on. Key bindings. Um, where was it? Tab. Twa tab is quick stats. I think I... I don't remember what I did that on before. The equipment, light source, status is F. I'm guessing that's the... Yeah, F key. Because what I normally do is I normally leave the HUD up, don't I? So HUD size is always on. And then uh, to toggle the quick HUD, I move that over to F, don't I? So key bindings. Um, can I unbind status? There we go. And then put the uh, status on tab. And then did something unbind left mouse? Oh, yeah. Okay, quick stats is F, tab, okay, that'll do fine. I think that's okay. Good stuff, thank you very much there to Agarab. There we go, that's what I expected. And then that's back to normal. Right then, um, what time is it currently at night? It is, what? A little bit of a low frame rate there. So it's currently, what, 12 o'clock at night? Yeah, we need to be uh, mindful of just how late it is, so... If we go upstairs, I don't know whether I've got any more antibiotics on me. I do. I've got enough for another dose. Is there anything that needed cooking? I can't quite remember. Empty, empty. I'm pretty sure everything out there was fine. Try not to uh, spam there, does he? If that's all right, bro. Um, are deer in this? Are there deer in this game? Yes. I got a new apron. That's right. Okay, I think we should probably get... I don't know, should we go to bed? What difficulty is this on? This is on Stalker. I really can't remember what we were doing. Um, we made some of these boots. That I remember that. We did that. We have the facility to make the trousers. 
Yes, I could go out rambling. It's just a little bit late for it, to be honest. I'm burning through lantern fuel here. Can't remember whether I... I'm going to take some more of the... What's it? Antibiotics. There we go. Down to five doses. We're roughly halfway through intestinal parasites there, which is pretty nice. What rifle you got? I think it's some sort of Lee Enfield. I, I truthfully couldn't tell you. It seems a little bit... Late. Oh my god, that is inky bike. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, the days of me being able to see right out into the woods are long gone. We'll eat that up. We killed a black bear. That's something we did do. Took us a little bit of time, but we managed to pull it off. We got lots of spare venison and stuff. But for the most part, I'm surviving off of black bear and uh, wolf. Because I've already got intestinal parasites. And as far as I know, you can't get d in intestinal parasites time two. Um, I'm my own medic, says oh, I'll donate $100 yeah. USD. I, I appreciate that, medic. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Clippo as well for the tier 1 sub. Oh, God. I'm just, you know what, let's get it out of the way. Uh, why did the hipster burn his tongue? He ate his breakfast before it was cool. Oh, Jesus. Good old 303. I think it is a 303. It looks like a Winnie. Winnie the Winchester. There's a couple of ruined clothes there. It looks like a Lee Enfield. Right, I am genuinely running out of lantern fuel, and there's nothing for me to do this late at night, um, other than maybe go out and try and find a maple sapling. It's a little bit too dark to travel at the moment. How's your equipment then? Have you crafted the boots? Yeah, I've got the boots crafted, but I can't craft in the dark. I can kind of see, um, but not really. I could go out and try and get some firewood. It is bloody dark. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to draw the curtains behind the monitor if I want to see anything. Just a moment. It's so dark. Oh, yeah. That's probably only going to help slightly. DVL, thank you very much there. Welcome, welcome, sir. Good to have you in. Just drop that all the way. There we go. Wheel under the monitor. How many days have I survived? That is a great question. I think we're on, what, day... 25 a few weeks out here. That's a little bit better. I can see a little bit better now. Yeah, we're just trying to survive intestinal parasites, really. Not really sure what I'm going to be finding out here. Weather's really inhospitable. Hopefully I'll do better with the revolver now on this screen. I cannot confirm or deny whether that'll be true, though. But there's one of the barns down here. There's that hill over there. So I'm trying to think where there is left to go. Um, like, there's not really many places here on this map that I haven't been yet. As far as I remember, there's still, like, one small... Oh, hello. Oh, I see that wolf. Let's go over this way. We might have a chance to train our revolver skill here. Let's see if I can pull this off. The more animals the ki I kill, the more cooking I can do. going to aggro there, I guess. Oh, Did I get him? Yeah. I think I hit him. Oh, I definitely hit him. Didn't quite get the kill, though. Never mind. It's so dark, I know, right? Well, hopefully we'll be able to go and find him in the morning. At the moment, I think it's a case of warming up. Get inside. I can kind of see. We'll get in there. Yeah, so I think an expedition to the Carter Hydra Dam is a place that we're going to need to adventure to next. We'll just light up a match, I think, and head upstairs like that. I guess just try and get some rest. That's all I can think to do is wait until a more reasonable hour of the morning. That's all I can do. It'd be nice to plan an expedition over to Mystery Lake, but I think I need to do a little bit more crafting before that can happen. I'll just sleep for as long as the game will let me. 
Well, we can't really do the uh, expedition until we've rid of these intestinal parasites either, which is uh, a bit of a bother. I think, as ever, the quest for the sapling is going to be today's adventure. We probably want to take just a little bit more rifle ammunition with us, so we'll, uh, we'll revolver ammo. Let's grab one of our many boxes, 12 rounds. We'll get that loaded up, a couple of spare cartridges. Take those with us. Weather sounds very, very disagreeable. Let's have, just eat that little bit of bear meat. That's probably why that bear or that wolf smelled us. Let's grab a bit more water from the top here. Got a little bit of firewood now, which is great. Is this an FPS now? Yeah, I know. I probably shouldn't have shot that wolf, but never mind. What's the best map for maple saplings, Q? I have no idea. No idea. I guess it's what we, with what you're familiar with. I wonder if this is the same wolf I shot. Okay. Okay, well I made a fucking shit shot of that. Okay. I hit him a lot though. I don't have much more in me. Bandage that. Well the new monitors didn't help my aim. Go figure. Heal this. Heal with that. Yeah, it's because they don't run straight towards me. I always struggle to track. The question is, where did he get to? Because I know, obviously, I hit him pretty hard there. Anything else that requires my attention? Sprained wrist, pain, just intestinal parasites, really. Where did your man run off to? He ran off over this way. Can't see any other things. That's a lot of blood, man. Well, he really fucked him up with that knife. It's good, though. It's good. He shouldn't get too far. As long as I can mark his body, I'll know where he is. Boomer. That's it. For some reason, I'm just better with the bow than I am with the guns. I don't know. I'm not even that good with the bow, to be fair. I've got a lot of revolver ammunition. I have to definitely stock up on it. Before, the only way before, like, you know, when rifle ammunition was a bit rarer, this was one of the only ways to get your, uh, get your ammo. Or get your uh, kills on your animals and stuff was to tussle with them. I remember having to uh, play on the Forgotten Highway, I think it was. That was, uh, yeah, that was rough. I got myself all dressed up in military gear, not dissimilar to now, and uh, just tussle, just had to wrestle with them. That was the only way. I'm hoping that the uh, clothes for my boots there. My boots, yeah, took them onto that quite well. Let's see. That blood already been snowed. Okay, it's oh, the blood has already been snowed over by the blizzard. That's nice. Make that just lovely. I'm hoping he didn't get too, too far. There's a deer there. I'm guessing your man is somewhere over here. He, he lost a lot of blood. Hmm. Kind of difficult to pick things out on the backdrop. Jane! Jane, if you're here, can I, uh, can I get my glasses? I cannot see the areas. He died down there. Okay, as long as I know where he died. Yeah. Thank you very much there to Orge for the 10 months there and Saru for the 25 months. Thank you very much, both of you. Good morning to you, Saru, as well. How are you? Oh, right. Yeah. Damn straight, Red Arrow. Damn straight. Can't clothe myself. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sutta. I should probably put those on when I'm not freezing to death. It's going to give me an excuse to stay indoors and get, like, fucking warm and stuff, isn't it? Get warm and do a little bit of crafting, make those trousers up. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's get indoors. The quest for the maple sapling is really what I'm after here. The only other place that I haven't really been to any real effect is down that way, so that will be where I want to kind of lead my expedition if I can. But it's going to take time, for sure. Let's head in through the basement. Get one down here. Here we go. Good stuff. 
Can you like get gloves in this game? I do actually have gloves on, um, but for some reason the uh, model doesn't reflect that, which is a bit of a bother, but what can you do? Little shelf. Oh, look at this. Fucking spray can. Spawned one. Look at that. Don't know how many others it might have spawned, but yeah, we've got a spray can now. Very nice. All of those have been searched and are waiting to go. Can I leave? I'm sure I've left rifle ammunition somewhere down here. Boots. There we go. Cartridges. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 13. I've fired 13 shots in anger so far. Got a destroyed arrow as well. A little bit of lantern fuel that I can use up, which is nice. Revival, revolver, sorry, isn't in terrible nick. Got to drop off these other bullets. Get rid of these rifle casings. Got a few of them. Can chuck this in here as well for now. Got no use of it. Got the rocks. Going to keep the rifle round with me, just in case I end up using it. I don't think I will, but just in case. Right then, let's see. Uh, we want to craft something. So what do we want to craft? We have the means to make at the moment. Uh, deerskin pants. I've got to go and get the materials. But deerskin pants and or a wolfskin coat, which is very warm. Uh, 25 hours to make the wolfskin coat. So I think I'm going to use that, uh, the fact that we're injured and everything now, as my means of actually getting that started. So I've got one of them. I've got another one here. Oh, no, actually. Another one there. Mm, looks like they're still curing. Okay, wolf pelt coat is on pause for a little bit. I definitely have the hide for deer hide stuff. And I can make the uh, gloves as well, which I think I might actually do. So let's grab one, two, uh, three, and four. Let's grab the guts as well. I'm sure I've got some more cured guts in there. Those, uh, those, and those. I do need to get more guts, it looks like. It looks like I don't have a huge stock left. Uh, and then let's come over to the workbench. What else do we have here? So I can make either these mittens or the hat, and the mittens are better. So let us make these. I've got one too many cured guts, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Let us craft for one hour at each time. We should be able to get these done today. If we're uh, mindful with how much time we spend on them. We're going to spend two hours there. Definitely need to get warm and well rested. It just looks like the weather's too inhospitable to do anything today. Yeah, two hours left. Let's get those on. Craft pants, you need them? True. Okay. Yeah, the pants. The pants could be better. Yeah, the pants have got a pretty diabolical. But these are a lot better, so let's wear those. Currently, warmth bonus is 17%. Windproof bonus is very low. Um, I'm hoping that will improve as I get better winter stuff there. I've got, like, warm long johns and stuff, but at the moment with wind, I, the, the wind absolutely cuts through my clothes at the moment. But what can you do? Are there any rudimentary repairs I can make while we're uh, waiting down here? I've got my sprained wrist and everything. Uh, let's go to the clothes tab. These combat trousers have seen a better day, so we'll uh, repair those. Use the last little bit of daylight that we have. I want to plan a little bit more of a thorough expedition over to Mystery Lake. It's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to take my bow and arrow and everything with me, but... Repair those sturdy long johns. Go upstairs, grab some more water, I think. It's all in the name of mending XP. Right. All moved in, pretty much. That we do. Let's see, anything else? Everything else is in okay, Nick. Those gloves and hoodie I can probably rip up because I'm not using them. So let's rip up this hoodie. Harvest it. 45 minutes to rip it up. It's going to be quite late at night, but it's always good to take a little bit of spare cloth with you. And the jacket could definitely use a bit of a tune-up. Get that repaired if we can. Excellent stuff. That's all the way up to 60% now. I could probably even repair that a little bit more, but I might not have time tonight used up two cloth but I don't have time annoying that it still uses the cloth it's pitch black down here I need to fill up my lantern fuel Go and do that here grab that from in the drawer yeah I definitely need more lantern fuel that's something I'm uh, struggling for at the moment let's see here this storm lantern actions refuel also need to repair it as well when I get chance requires scrap. Okay. We'll take it with us for now then. 
And then we'll head upstairs, we'll get some rest, uh, we'll make sure we've got enough stuff to get rid of our intestinal parasites. We'll go and grab some more food, and then we can go from there. Okay, let's see. So we want to go and grab more antibiotics. Got some more in here. Grab a worse conditioned ones. Transfer six. We want to grab some more water that we can drink as we come upstairs. A little bit of food from out here. We'll grab some black bear meat because that will really fill us up. Let's have a look here. Bit of gamey wolf meat. Eat that up. Probably have two pieces of wolf meat because it won't last as long. Yeah, that's only a little bit. That should tide us over till morning. Right. Good stuff. We'll head upstairs. And then we'll go and get some rest. We'll sleep for like what? How? What time is it? It's like not very late at all. Let's turn this off. We'll sleep for like what? How many hours? Not many hours. Let's call it six hours, and then we'll have some antibiotics. Or oh, let's go. Five hours, and then we'll have some antibiotics, and then we can go from there. Which map is this? This is Pleasant Valley. I'm planning an excursion off towards Mystery Lake. Aurora Borealis. No lights in here, I do hasten to add. Do I? I'll just ignore it. Next day. Intestinal parasites, that should get us down to four. There we go. Four doses of antibiotics left until we can get rid of intestinal parasites. We need to do now. Big drink of water. Get back to sleep. Try and chop some more firewood. We're just existing at the moment until we can get past this uh, illness. There's very little I can actually do. I'll sleep now until, until morning as best I can. Lovely. Right. Let's see here. Nice and early. Very good. Yeah, condition continues to uh, be eroded here, but there's very little I can do about it. Very did he miss them? Well, I did miss them. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else in here. Various bits of storage and stuff. But this is home base for me at the moment. It's got everything I need. It's got all my materials in. Relatively hospitable. It definitely could be worse. Various bits of water and stuff. Let's have a drink. Do I think the plan's going to go out, harvest that little bit of wolf meat, um, maybe grab a bit more to eat, uh, a bit more firewood. Yeah, there we go. Hunting rifle, 303 action bolts. Yeah, 303 caliber bolt action rifle. It's basically, yeah, it's a. Uh, eat any of these, really. Give oh, so many calories, the black bear meat. It's so good killing a black bear. It took me a few two, three, four rifle rounds to actually drop one, but it was did well, did very well. Yeah, that's the blood from before. Right then, let's go out and try and find this uh, this wolf. Then it was somewhere over there. Conditions are very cold at minus sixteen, but the more wolf uh, meat and guts and things, so they do need more, more guts. But from the looks of it, I uh, can uh, bring those back and get them all curing. There's a uh, deer over there. I don't need too much more deer meat, to be honest. I could always get some fresh stuff, but yeah. This game's about survival, that it is. It's very much a survival game. Get up and over here. Lovely jobbly. So our man died somewhere over this way. And I'd love to go on a serious expedition for maple saplings, but I just can't seem to... Uh, can't seem to get out of the house. The weather's been very disagreeable thus far. Like I said, we've got our bear hide uh, thing, which is going nicely, but it's going to take a little while before that's ready to cure. And we've got to kill another black bear um, before I'm able to uh, actually... You know, I didn't actually bring any bandages with me. I should probably get that sorted uh, when I go back. We also want to try and get a rabbit skin hat if we can for the sake of... Uh, I'm sure we saw areas. He fell down here. He didn't get too far. He could have gone a lot further if he wanted. There's a small cabin over there. I think I've already. I think I've already looted that cabin. I think I found some deer back there. It's a little bit too cold to do anything. 
frozen solid, so he is. Okay, so somebody told me the hatchet's better for harvesting when stuff's frozen solid, so we'll get all of that. We'll get that, and we'll get that. Two hours. That's actually quite a bit. Let's uh, grab the guts, leave the... You know what? Let's do it. It's going to hypothermia. It's going to be pretty nasty, but we can just Damn. grab it all. Freezing. And then just get back. Ooh, there we go. Harvesting. Parker's Harvesting 3. A nice level there. Very, very good. We're going to absolutely reek, but we've got to go back and do some more crafting anyway. Uh, start crafting on the deer hide so we can go and do all of that, which is very nice. We can get this oh, stuff stomach. cooking as well. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. You do have intestinal parasites, sir. So it is fair that your stomach hurts. I really don't want to do is bump into any wildlife. I think what I'm trying to do is wait too late to actually shoot the wolves. I think I should uh, maybe try and uh, get the draw on them a little bit faster. Um, maybe try and shoot them as they come in. Set a fire before harvesting. Yeah, I could do, but then you end up with like loads of fireplaces littering everywhere. I'd rather do it like this. Can you get rid of the parasites? Yes, I'm in the uh, process of doing so. It's just taking a little bit of time. I'm going to, for now, just drop uh, the raw meat over here, like so. I'm actually carrying a bedroll with me, which I don't really need to do. Those cured guts, which have seen better days. And the pry bar. Okay, food then. Uh, which one is this? That'll be this one. 69%. Very nice. We'll go inside, we'll take this down to the basement, we'll warm up, and then we'll do a little bit more crafting for the sake of getting the trousers, which is very nice. Don't campfires despawn now? Don't think so. You can tear down campfires now. Fair enough, okay. Consider me educated. Probably rip this up for spare cloth, to be honest. If only I could find somewhere to use those snares, because that would be a good way to get rabbits. There's nowhere nowhere really nearby for me to be able to uh, to grab the little, little shits. I have to run after them and throw stones. Um, yeah. Not really an advocate for nature, am I? Okay, we'll drop all of this here. Oh, actually, we need to drop the uh, fresh ones. And then we need to get the cured guts. Four of them. Uh, and then one, two, three, four. Over to the workbench. Deer skin pants. And you needed three of them. And yeah, the boots required. Here we go. And you needed a few of those. Let's start crafting them. We're going to spend an hour on it. It's going to take us a few days to do, but again, we're, all we're really doing is trying to recover from parasites. So there's no real worry there. Just going to take a little bit of time. Oh, dear, big stretch. Yeah, and these will really warm us up compared to what we have at the moment, which is excellent. Just an hour each time. Are there slingshots in the game? No. Nope. I can I can th literally throw rocks at people, but no, there's no slingshots, unfortunately. Would be cool to make, I guess. Right, we'll keep going oh, with that. Another yeah. hour in. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Namit there for the 29 months, sir. Good to have you in. Welcome, welcome. Lovely, it's getting quite late now. It's going to get a little bit dark if I keep going. I think I need to do another keybind. If I go to... Because um, I keep clicking... Let's see here. Status, quick stats. I think I'm going to have... Oh. Rotate left. Rotate right. Do that. U. And E, I guess. I don't know. Because that should bring the... When I press Q, it should bring the... Uh, yeah, bring that up. Which is what I normally do. Lovely. So I can see what time it is when I press Q. Lovely. So we're going to head upstairs. I mean, we could... Actually, it's, it's still quite early in the day. I could do a little bit more crafting. Let's keep doing some crafting. Nice one. Glad to hear your internet's fixed, Nemit. Good man. Right. Let's spend another hour and a half doing that. Making some good progress on this. Ever been inspired to learn oh, an yeah. IRL skill from a video game, like making fire, repairing clothes, control a submarine? I can't say I have, um, to be honest. I can't say it's ever really crossed my mind in that kind of way. Hello there, Spicky, and thank you to Oblivious One for the Tier 1 sub. Congrats on the new house. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, it is. It is really nice. Very, very happy with it. Excellent. Right. 
After seven weeks of some su suffering, my landlord literally bumped into a BT engineer oh, and told him to get yeah. his ass to the property to fix it. Lovely. Thank you very much there to Asbog for the seven months, sir. Welcome, welcome in. Good to have you there. Maybe, I think uh, I need to lay down. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any more out of that. So let's head upstairs. We can get a good bit of rest in, which is nice. Get some of the cold out. Get a bit of the frostbite away. Definitely got to keep warming up. The gloves are going to be a little bit better. I could probably, I probably want to store those uh, mittens, don't I? I probably don't want to rip those up just yet. I could rip up this bedroll that I've got with me, uh, just for repairs and stuff. I might do that. So let's uh, drop off these into the cabinet for now. So uh, what have I got here? I've got those spare mittens, just in case, like I really need them. New skid, deer skin pants. I'm still working on, so I won't be able to equip them. And uh, these decent sports socks. I don't need that. Let us rip up this spare bedroll as I yeah, don't really need it at the moment. Actions. Harvest it down. Oh, a Bavin raid. Thank you very much for the party of 49. Good to see you in. Mr. Bavin, sir. Welcome, welcome. How may I help how, how may I help you this fine fine eve? Sprain risk. Very, very, very nice. I think Jane has filled up a water bottle for me, and I genuinely didn't notice her put it there. Very, very kind. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much there to Eric218. Welcome, welcome in. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Where's my can opener? Ugh. There it is. Got it. Uh, I think I want to head upstairs now, don't I? Get some rest. I probably want to eat before I do that. So we'll go out, grab a little bit of food. We'll wake up in the few hours' time. Oh, and then we can go from there. Yeah. Thank you very much there to Shadow Killer. Been keeping, babe. That'll, sorry, that'll be plenty, thanks. <laughs> no worries. Or rather, keep being you, babe, Q-Breed. That's why the emote exists. It's a scam train, it certainly is. I'll have another one of these bear meats. Only a little bit left. We'll go and grab some more water. Enjoy the gifted subs, matey. That's a lot of meat. It is a lot of meat. Killed a lot of animals to get there. What can you do, eh? Survival situation and all. Didn't take much joy out of it. Had to be done, though. If we are to survive. You could say oh, he's he's packing yeah. some meat. That's it. Thank you very much there to Joan and Nakai. Very, very kind. Cube read. Am I having a good day? I am having a very good day. Yeah, I'm uh, currently on day three of moving in. I've uh, started doing a little bit of VR, which has been nice. Um, been playing uh, Blade and Sorcery, uh, which has been good. Um, used the oven for the first time last night, which was nice. I had the Michelin star meal of chicken chicken dippers and chips. <laughs> was, oh, frankly, yeah. glorious. Very, very nice. Let me see here. Thank you to, uh, to Charlie Bear. Nice sleepy time. Thank you very much there for the three months. I have some more antibiotics. That should get us down to, yep, three doses remaining until we've got past our disease. Gotta get there. Those potato waffles, though. Literally. Very nice. Right, where's the bed? It's around here something. There it is. Right. Then we can sleep for however long the game will let us until morning. And then we can go from there. That is... That's the best way someone has read my name. That's Q. <laughs> Made me laugh a bit. No worries. Oh, Joanna. Joanna Kai. <laughs> Jo not Joan and Nakai. I beg your pardon. Joanna. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Quick sweep of water there. Very nice. So, right. A little bit more food. Still got a little bit of bear meat left over. Doesn't sound too bad. Oh, oh my god. Blade with the five yeah. gifted subs. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Fucking hell. Just getting, it, just getting him just over the sub train bar. That's very, very kind. Thank you very much, mate. But it's said like Joanna. Oh, I would have said. Yeah. I could well be wrong. Okay, weather is very agreeable at the. Okay, nope. I've stepped outside. There's, a, there's another wall. Oh, look, I don't. Oh, look, it doesn't have to be yeah. like this. It doesn't have to be like this, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. I hit him. <laughs> Bruising. Oh, yeah. What's he going after? 
like a rabbit or something that he's going after. I don't know where that other wolf went. I probably just want to track him. Another shot. Another hit. And as we raise our revolver skill, it will get easier and easier to fell these animals. It's all in the name of training the skill, really. We will be able to find more revolver ammunition as we push around Mystery Lake. We won't really be able to find much food while we're out oh, there unless we do our own yeah. hunter-gathering gameplay. Pretty sure you scared them. Yeah, I think you're probably right there. Thank you to Manskill uh, for gifting a tier 1 sub to the community. Mr. Spicky, enjoy your sub, sir. Yeah, this is quite a lot of blood for a single shot. At least we, at least we hit him this time. Yeah, we didn't take too much damage from that. Yeah, he'll be feeling that. Bless him. Oh. oh hello. That's a classic serpentine manoeuvre there by the wall. Let's see. I'm going to stick on this uh, trail oh, as best yeah. we can. It's coming across over there. Thank you very much there to Gek for gifting a tier 1 sub to Red Osprey. Enjoy your sub there. Very, very kind, everyone. All the subs today. Thank you, you awesome people. Yeah, let's see if we can find where they As long as we can find his resting place, then we know how to get back to him. Seems to be there, like, running out over this way. One or two deer. Very lads and ladies, just coming through. Don't mind me. I think he died in the same place as his buddy. That's pretty funny. I wonder if he literally did die in the... <laughs> Literally the same place. Maybe there's like a pathing thing here where they're just like coming over here. Definitely grab that feather. This is very oh, frozen. I'm yeah. sure it's going to be easier for me to uh, just rip into this now. It's only going to take 30 minutes. I need the guts really, and I could do it. It'll take an hour and 15 minutes if I get on it now. So I'm going to. Oh, God. Sorry, I, th I thought I was moving then, but no, it's the uh, <laughs> it's the shadows changing. Very nice. Okay, let's move back to the house. That didn't take too long at all. Good stuff. That's another wolf down. More meat that we need to cook. It's going to raise our cooking skill, which is quite nice. We'll get inside, we'll get warm, and then we should be good to go here. Time for a drink, Bio. Very well. Thank you very much there to Ouija as well for the subscription. Good to have you in, sir. Keep hydrated, that's the one. Stay hydrated. That is my my agenda. That's that wolf down the back. I don't know who... Maybe he was chasing something. I don't know. I missed the stay hydrated, but I know. I know, right? Oh, it hurts. Such a good bot. Okay, yeah, so what I want to do once we're good and ready um, and we've got our trousers constructed is I want to go and start. Um, Don't really want to tussle with him. Just going to get inside. Need to warm up before we do that. Is Hydrate Bot dead forever? As far as I know, um, they just, the, whoever made it, because I think it was just somebody, like, you know, it wasn't like a team or anything, it was just some, some person. They just made a, uh... Oh, yeah. Even filled up your, uh, bottle from the water tank. I know, I found it, I found it. Amy Wolf, mate. This here, this stuff should be pretty fresh. So got, it did get very quiet very quickly, then. So a lot of that stuff there needs to be cooked. We need to drink there. Thank you very much to Mad Rago for the 28 months, sir. Welcome, welcome in. These five newspapers. I can rip them up for tinder plugs, shouldn't I? We can just eat a little bit more of this stuff. Any more of this stuff going rancid? Get a little bit of gamey bear meat. Oh, look at that. Excellent stuff. Hype train over. Thank you very much. You receive a tier one hype train emote. There you go, chat. Right, so in terms of this, so we leveled up our carcass harvesting to level 3. 25% reduction in harvesting times. Uh, you can harvest 50% frozen corpses by hand and a 10% reduction in hide or gut harvesting times. You are skilled. You know your way around a carcass. You're quick and can get the best parts without wrecking them. But you don't waste time or meat. Very nice. Our uh, revolver skill as well. What's our revolver skill at? Uh, revolver firearm skill. Uh, recoil compensations. Not too much going on there. Close to leveling up our rifle skill, which is nice. Uh, cooking is well on the way to being leveled up as well, which is great. Fire starting? 
could be better, could be better. It takes a little bit of time, but what can you do? We've not done any ice fishing. I don't really need to worry about that. That's not something I can do over here. Um, yeah, I think we'll, uh, yeah, I think we'll, uh, go downstairs. We'll get, grab a drink of water. I can do some cooking once the sun goes down, like, because then I can, you know, effectively use the time. So let's head down to the basement. Uh, we'll do a little bit of manufacturing of these trousers, because we do want to get them on. And then we can go from there. The condition of these clothes should be pretty fucking good. Yeah, 99%. Well, so 100% still. Um, two days, two, three days away from being able to get rid of the intestinal parasites. And that should be a real liberation for our character here. Um, again, the, the intestinal parasites are just the worst thing ever. We'll come down here and we'll keep crafting. We need yeah, just a little bit more time. We should have enough hours in the day to get that sorted. Hypothermia risk has been healed. I am going to just get it all done if I can in one foul swoop. Very nice. Sun going down. Oh, I've broken my sewing kit. Let's see. I should have some spares here. Yeah, I've got, only got a few spares left, actually. Got to make sure I'm. Uh, got to make sure I'm not wasting too much time here. What pants am I using? Um, at the moment, military and cargo. I'm going to be swapping out one of them now for the deer hide pants. So those are now fully crafted. Very nice. So, which one should I swap out? The cargo pants give us 1.1 degree and 0.4 degrees. Uh, the military trousers give us 1.6 and 0.4. It looks like the military trousers can't wear ones are the better ones to go. So we're going to swap out the cargo pants with the deer hide ones. Very nice. Can I make it so that these guys like... There we go. Those go over the top. Stuff. Warm, supple, tough, offers great combination of mobility and warmth. Wear these uh, to feel like Mad Max of the North, I guess. So yeah, that's going to keep us nice and warm there. Next job is going to be the jacket. I've already got the gloves. It's going to take a little bit of time to do, but, you know, should be fine for the moment. Very nice. Right, we need to head upstairs. We need to get some rest, have a bit to drink. I don't think we're going to be able to make the wolfskin hides for a little while yet because these wolfskin hides take a little while to walk there. That's ruined. We'll just leave that on the floor. That's a bug. Uh, so I've got, what, two, two, I mean, do I have some more upstairs? I don't know. I think I've got some hides in the living room. I've got two cured. If I've got two, if I've got two more cured up here, then I should be all right. Cured and cured. Okay, I can start making the wolfskin stuff then. So I'll get that all ready for tomorrow. Cured guts. Grab all of those. Up we go. Got the spare arrows just there. We'll leave them. I'll pick those all up. We'll get some rest. Get some sleep. Oh, we'll sort that out yeah. in the morning and then we'll turn that off. Thank you very much there to Salt and Pete. do think. How's the house? It's very good. Very, very good. I'm all set up, waiting for things to, uh, oh yeah, look at that. The weather's a bit disagreeable out there. This should level up our cooking skill a little bit. Gives us an opportunity to top up on water as well, which is behind. nice. Oh, good. Right. Guess you need the shelf of purgatory back, I know, right? Yeah, if only, I, I'm half tempted to move out to uh, Mystery Lake again, but, you know, it'd just be the same thing over and over again. I want to explore a bit more if I can. I'm going to be moving out to Mystery Lake for a supply run anyway. But yeah, right, okay. So let's see here. We want to turn this off while I get this stove lighted. Let's see here. So I've got my fire striker. I've got my tinder plugs. I've got some sticks for 85% chance. Let's get that lit up. All in the name of fire starting. Sick and twisted fire starting. Uh, move to the last released map. There's a new type of wolf there. Oh, really? Got a little bit of that in there. Let's get a bit of the sea stuff if I can. I didn't really get any sea 
of stuff from that. We got one of them. One of them, one of them. Let's get the stuff up on the stove here. Won't take long to cook much of this. Stuff, get that all over there. Put that there. Cook. We'll do four of them at a time and we'll get some water boiling as well. Two litres apiece. Two litres apiece, get an extra four litres of water on the go. That's going to take about two hours. Let's start with that stuff. There we go, about an hour's passed. All of this is about ready to come off the stove. We just need to add in a little bit more reclaimed stuff. Good stuff, a couple more sticks, very nice. Right. Oh, Apologies that it's very yeah. dark. We're at the mercy of uh, what the what light like, the game will give us at the moment. Thank you very much there to uh, Fra Frank Frangalo. Thank you very much there for the Twitch Prime sub. Love the stream and hope you are happy in your new home. Much love. Thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, good to have. Yeah, good to have you along today. Hope you're doing well as well. Hopefully, loads of fresh water means it's going to cook it really nicely. 46, 47 minutes. Two hours left on there. Let's get this water all boiled up. Hopefully, possible, possible. Get a little bit more wolf meat on the go in here because these are the last two pieces. We'll cut that. They fold it like an old shoe. Just jam those in there like that. Absolutely lovely. Do we have enough to cook those? Yes, we do. Should be plenty of time. Guys, getting quite tired now. We'll be able to go upstairs. Do we have everything we need to rid ourselves of intestinal parasites? We do have two pieces of antibiotic left, which is nice. Cue the game. So it is loud. We can barely hear you. Okay. Give me a hot minute then. I will see if I can make myself just a smidge louder. He's here, chat. Right. Uh, I'm going to turn up to 69%. There we go. I'm on 60, 69% volume now, chat. Is that... Hopefully that'll be a bit better for you. Hopefully I'll sound a bit crisper. Right. Six minutes left on that. Grab that. Very nice. Jesus, chat. Jesus. What are you liking? Eh? All of that stuff. Two minutes, two minutes. Let's grab that. Grab all of these pieces of meat off the stove. 35, 32 minutes. Grab that. Grab it, grab it. Oh, the stove is going to burn out. We've got an hour left. I guess I should put like a half litre on to, to boil. Cook. 14 minutes. Cook. Cook, probably water. See if I can get a litre out of that. 27 minutes. 56 minutes, maybe. Who knows. Let's head on out. Drop off what we have and then we can go there. That's much better, is it? Probably the ambience is loud. You're probably right. Okay, so we'll come out here. We'll drop off this... Uh, actually, we'll drop the wolf meat off here. Just like so. Lovely stuff. This is all nice and fresh. I've got two litres of unpotable water. That's a little bit annoying. I didn't think I grabbed it. Okay. Well, we're not huge fans of dysentery here, so we're going to put that on there. Cooking pot. Water. Let's just put that in there for now. Um, it won't fully boil out because there isn't that much time on the stove, but we can do that next time if we can. Right. May we head upstairs, get some sleep, and, uh, yeah. We can go from there. Probably going to eat a little bit of uh, bear meat while I'm out as well. Very nice. Why do you keep the meat outside? Because it's very cold and the game models uh, the condition of the meat uh, through through its temperature. Lovely stuff. Right, let's head upstairs to bed and then we can go from there. We're only going to get a couple of hours of kip to start with so that we can take our antibiotics at like one in the morning. I've also got all my hides and stuff. I probably want to just quickly run down to the basement and drop those off just so that they're uh, out of the way. Did I have any of those on me, in fact? I think it's... Fr yeah, fresh guts. Some of the stuff's fresh. Some of it isn't. I'll just drop them here for now. Not ideal, but... Okay, so fresh guts... Fresh wolf pelt, get rid of that. We've got this cured deer hide. 
I got cured guts and then all of that and then we can grab the rest of those in the morning. Right, upstairs to sleep. Antibiotics and then we're a couple of days away from getting what we want. And then life will be good. The fire's going to burn out down there which is nice. Head upstairs. Very cool. Yeah, I'm absolutely ripping through kerosene at the moment but there's very really little I can do. I'm just spending a lot of time at night. Okay, I want to sleep for like three hours, then have my... Yeah, have my, uh... Antibiotics. wonder if it'll be an Aurora. Can't hear it. Oh, Metalhead, thank you very much yeah. for the five gifted subs there. Very, very kind of you, sir. Thank you. We get more antibiotics. That brings us down to two doses remaining. You are inf you ate an infected piece of meat oh, and have intestinal yeah. parasites. Recovery time requires multiple daily treatments, which is fair enough, I guess. Let's have a look here. How are we doing on the old cooking skill? We're very, we're actually very, very close to level four cooking, oh, which is really nice. Yeah. Like we're going to be there soon. Like it's our highest level skill by a long way. Rifle skills doing pretty good, which is perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this as a whole. Let's hit the sack. We'll sleep oh, for. Yeah. Let's sleep for like what? Six hours. That should take us through to early morning. We've spent a lot of time at night out here, but what can you do? If the weather's agreeable today, I might oh, go out and get a little bit yeah. more firewood for the stove. And we're fully rested, at least. And it's very early morning, which is perfect. Right. So far, not getting cabin fever, which is excellent. Right, we need to go down to the basement and begin the crafting of our wolf pelt jacket, because that's actually going to take a shitload of time. I'm going to spend a full day on that today. And then we can uh, sort the rest out a bit later. So that's all fresh. I've got two of the fresh ones on me. That's cured. That's cured. Let's get the manufacturing started. Very, very nice. Big old house you got there. I know, right? Okay. So what am I... What am I... Apologise, chat. So I've only got three. Should have four. And one of them's fresh. Did I drop the uh, cured one? Ah, there it is. Got it. Right. So, a improvised wolf coat. Uh, Handcrafted fur and skin out layer will keep you warm and remind wolves that you, they should keep their distance. Not the way the wolf expected to end up, I'm sure not. Right. So the game is saying that we should use either a hatchet or a knife here. We're going to use our knife. It's going to take a little bit of time. At least we don't have to use a sewing kit just yet. So, let us manufacture this. We're going to go in for two hours of crafting. I think I've got some spare knives kicking around. If not, I can use the... Uh, Whetstone I've got in my inventory to give this a bit of a, a fix. Yeah. Be grateful I've got these knives, man. It takes forever otherwise. Two hours again. And do more of that. Good stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, 21 hours. It's going to take a lot of time to make this. Let's go for four hours of crafting going to spend most of the day on it, nearly a full 24 hours. But that should take us ni nicely up to the end of our uh, intestinal parasites, really. Can maybe get one more hour in, maybe two more before I go to bed. Let's get two more hours of this in. Just crafting. Yeah, that'll take us down to 15 hours, and then I should be able to get that done in one or two more days. Which will be very nice for sure. Lovely. It's just light enough to scurry back upstairs, so let's do that. Oh, these parasites are debilitating, man. They're so bad. It's just rough. You just can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. It just gets worse and worse and worse, and there's nothing you can do other than just sit there and take it. Real disaster. Good stuff. But yeah, as long as we keep, like, obviously, because eating, obviously, our, our bear meat and stuff, eating our wolf meat and things, you know, the chance of us getting intestinal parasites gets ever lower, which is what we want. A little wolf meat. Awesome stuff. Head back inside, drink a little bit more, and then we can go from there. We're going to be getting a pretty much a full, full night's sleep here. 
Our water reserves have definitely been better. We can probably grab the little bit that I put on to boil last night. That's possible. And that's possible. A little bit more to take with us. One and a half litres. We can go upstairs, get some rest. I need to grab some more antibiotics. Antibiotics is going to be one of the big things that I uh, go out on expedition for. Should only need these now. And then I've got two packets left. Yeah, we'll head on up. Sleep until the wee hours of the morning and then go from there. So I'm trying to think what areas you can actually connect to from this part of the map. So there's Mystery Lake, um, Timberwolf Mountain, but we're not ready for that. That is like a whole different ball game up there. Right, we're going to sleep for six hours if the game will let us. Then we'll have our second to last dose of antibiotics. There we go. We're just past the midway point, so this use. Very nice. One dose left. So we're very, very, very close. Oh, to the end of our intestinal parasites. These have been horrible, but it will be a lot better come tomorrow. And then we can sleep these off, which will be perfect. Um, I don't really think there's anything left for us to cook or anything like that. I guess I could go downstairs, make use of the time by maybe boiling up some more water, because I know our water supply has seen better days. So let's do that. Let's head on downstairs. I do need more fuel for the lantern as well, which we'll do. Also, Coastal Highway. That was the one I was thinking of. Coastal Highway. Was there anything else in here? Various books and stuff. Shitload of books, actually, for fire starting. Plastic containers empty. I don't think I checked all of this. Didn't I? Yep, first aid cabinet. All of that's empty. All of that's empty. Can't pull them off the wall. They're not real fish, chat. Simple tools there, but meh. Right, yeah, definitely could do with getting more ammunition and stuff, because I've used a good number of them, a good number of the rounds. Uh, we could do a little bit of reading, but i got to get the fire going for that. So we could do some reading while we're waiting for stuff to boil. So we could uh, put... Yeah, we'll fire up the uh, the stove, I think. Stove, start fire. Fire striker, tinder plug, and a stick. Let's see if we can get this going. Does the fish start stinging? I don't, singing? I don't think it does. I wish it did. <laughs> Scare the shit out of you. Halloween update. Oh, 85% chance. It's rigged, chat. It's rigged. Let's go again. Fire striker. You always want to try and... Someone made a good point. I always thought that it was worth saving fire strikers for emergencies, but there's no point, right? Because the emergency item for fires is fire lighter fluid. The strikers are best to use earlier in the game because of the fact that your fire skill is low and their chance to light a fire is much higher than, say, a match. So that was actually a long, dark top tip from one of the viewers there, which I always thought was a very good, very sensible decision. Right then, uh, water. We want to get as many as we can on the go. It's going to take a little bit of time. That's... Uh, no, okay, I want to... Water. I want to put the unpotted water back in there. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Cooking, water, two of those. Uh, I do have one tin here, don't I? I don't know whether I've got any other tins. Uh, water. I do have one more tin. Another half litre of that. Could probably eat or drink something else. Let's go and grab our uh, What's It book. we got a... Let's light up a match for this. There's a fire What's It book that we could use. Or a rifle sh shooting book. Let's see here. Frontier shooting guide. Let's grab a couple of them. And then let's just read these in front of the fire. So we've got about, what, we can maybe read for half an hour? These little recycled shitty cans are going to make it a bit difficult. Add fuel. A couple of those in there. That one boiled out, I guess. Or I guess I didn't put anything in it. Just as well, because... It takes too much time for them to boil out. Right. So. Book. Yep. Use. Could research it for an hour. But then this would boil over. So. Take, wait the 10 minutes. Grab that. 17 minutes. Wait for that to be done. Possible water. That's going to take about an hour. Cook. Not cook. We want to boil. Uh, two litres in there. How much fun that we got left? A little bit of time. Throw a piece of reclaimed wood in there, and then let's read for an hour. Use for one hour. 
You're not healthy. Oh, I did this last time. Why does your logo look like a dog with a loaf of bread stuffed in its mouth? <laughs> That's the first time I've been told that. I'd like to. I'd like to think it was stylized. It's a stylized bear. Keck, I know, right? <laughs> right. Let's see here. So snow, potable water, potable water. Let's see. Let's have a drink of that. Got four liters on us. Lots of water, which is good. Right, a little bit of that. I'm not planning to take like a revolver or anything like that. I'm just planning to take my bow and arrow with me out towards like the trapper's homestead and stuff. That's going to make for an interesting bit of exploration, I am sure. Yeah, just I need more. I don't need rifles and guns and stuff. I just need bullets. Um, we've already had that, so yeah, we're going to be spending a day down here, basically, just yeah, cooking. Basically, we can go and get a little bit more firewood when weather permits. But at the moment, yeah, it's just a case of biding our time. Snow, potable water. Let's get all of that waited for. That's possible. Cook, not cook. Keep doing that. Water. Another couple of litres of water, non-potable snow. Let's grab that, grab that. Water, two litres of that. How long have we got left? Three hours on the stove, non-potable water. We're coming up to very early morning. Looks like we're going to have a blizzard going into the next day. An hour and 55. We can get some more water off of that. It's going to be tight, but we can do it. Non-potable water, 54 minutes. We're not going to be filling up anymore. That's going to let the stove run out time the sun should start coming up and then that's got seven minutes left so we made ourselves 16 liters of water that's very very healthy so we'll drop all of that there we'll drop 14 liters we've got a shitload that we need to put up on the shelf here I can't really see yet but, you know I'll tell you what we can get did you find any illusory maple saplings? I didn't, really, frustratingly. I have not been able to. It's been a real thorn in my side for the longest time now, and I just can't find them. Looks like the placement bug isn't in full swing yet. Oh no, it's kind of, kind of getting there. Seems to be certain items. Yeah, just all of this fresh water. It's good. Move that book. Put that book like down here somewhere. I'm just gonna put it on the floor there. So we've got all the space for the water. Yeah, that lantern's definitely seen better days. Definitely need to get that repaired. Alright, Storm Lantern, take that with us. We're heading down to the basement because the sun's coming up. It should be bright enough to uh, get crafting here. So yeah, we'll go down there and uh, get some more of these materials sorted out. Excellent. Yeah, that trail paint. Move that to like, I don't know, we should put it over there for now. Got that spare hunting knife, which is good. Right, kill the light. It's going to be dark for a bit, but keep on working if we can. Spend another hour. There we go. It's bright enough. Lovely. Sun should be up. Very good stuff. 14 hours remaining. Let us drink a load of water. We'll keep going. We're going to get quite tired, but you know, what can you do? Right. Wolf skin coat. Let's spend a good four hours on this. guy's going to become very tired, but we'll do what we can. One more day and we should be ready. Very good. Sure why I feel so tired. It's probably because you, you know, been w working flat out for like a full ten hours. Right. Probably. Who knows? Who knows, truly? 31 calories. Fucking pushing out the big guns. A little bit of gristle found at the bottom of his pocket. He's like, ooh, what a snack. Lovely. We'll try and see if we can get another two hours out of him. It's going to say he's too tired to do crafting, I guess. 
maybe. No, it's going to let me carry on. If it's going to let me carry on, I don't mind trading a bit of condition for more crafting work. Something's making me feel really tired. That's a shame we're not going to be able to finish this tonight. Yeah, just a little bit too dark now. Still a very good effort. Head upstairs, grab some more food, grab some more drink. I'm going to use this last little bit of kerosene just to patch this thing up. I'd eat anything Lovely. Now. It's amazing you can do pre precision, precision crafting but can't aim to shit. I know, right, I really need to whetstone the shit out of that. Right, actions, refuel it. Get that shit topped up. There we go. Drop off our last little bit of kerosene here. We've got about a litre left. Not very much at all. Take that with us, and then we'll head upstairs for tonight. And then, yeah, once we get ready in the morning, there, I think an expedition to Pleasant Valley, or not Pleasant Valley, to uh, the uh, Carter Hydra Dam, and then on towards Mystery Lake is going to be in our future, which is going to be nice. Trapper's Homestead, I'm thinking of snaking around that way. There's quite a lot to explore, so you know, we should have a lot to do. My plan is to try and bring back as much food as I can um, for the sake of, you know, storing things in cupboards and stuff. Very nice morning. It's a shame we have to go to sleep now, but... Oh, well, no, actually, it's evening, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sun's, sun's going down, which is fair enough. Right, bit of bear meat, then. Because we're basically starving. Two of these, and we should be basically full. Bear meat is so strong. Holy shit. Right. Drink all of that up. Very nice, very nice. Then, yeah, we'll head upstairs to bed. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take our last dose of uh, painkillers or antibiotics, and then we can plan an expedition out. I'm only planning to... Uh, I'm only planning, like... Uh, it's providing the weather's good, but I'm only planning... Well, I'm not planning to go very far at all. Let's sleep for uh, f five hours. Yeah, I'm just going to go in there, grab as much as I can, and bring it out with me. I'm going to be doing a lot of survival craft while I'm out there, probably killing and hunting stuff on my way as I go. Intestinal parasites healed. Look at that shit. We're going to be able to get a really good night's sleep now. We're going to sleep, like, as long as the game will let us. Ready for our expedition tomorrow. Very, very nice. Bed. Intestinal parasites healed. Let's sleep it up. Is the TLD still on sale? I don't think it is. Why are you eating yourself? It's a fair point. Lovely. Fully rested and we're on the other side of intestinal parasites now, chat. We're going to go downstairs and manufacture what's left of this wolfskin jacket. Sounds like it's a little bit windy out, but not too bad. Get this made and uh, yeah, we can uh, begin our excursion. We're going to want a fresh bedroll with us. Because we are leaving, or we ripped up our other one for the sake of doing some rudimentary repairs here. So we're going to go in here. We need to whetstone the shit out of our thing here. Yeah, I definitely need to whetstone that. Probably another time. Uh, it's going to take a long time to do. There we go, two hours, begin crafting. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the knife. Yeah, weather doesn't sound too agreeable to maybe move out tonight, or today even. Sounds like there's a bit of a blizzard going. We want the weather to be somewhat agreeable when we move, although if you move in bad weather, it means that, you know, you're not going to be, uh, I mean, there's not going to be too much, too bad, you know what I mean? Like, drop that there, another one of those, just leave it. Uh, this book, I'm just going to leave down here for now. Rifle isn't too bad. A little bit of charcoal for mapping. I'm going to swap knives, because this knife is yeah, a lot better. I'm going to leave the damaged one for wet stoning. Leave him up on here. Damaged hatchet. I can probably take that with me. I can survive off that for a little bit. I need to get some more bandages. Uh, I've got some fire making equipment. Nothing too serious, or nothing too bad, I should say. Uh, actions military jacket. Let's go for a one and a half hour repair on that. See if the weather becomes more agreeable for us to begin our exit. Probably not, mind you. 89%, 69%. Let's do a quick repair on this thing. Weather sounds like it's hit a bit of a pause there, which is nice. Okay. 
Yeah, weather sounds weather sounds a bit more agreeable, so we're going to head out now, I think. Uh, we're going to make sure that we've got enough water for an extended journey, and then we're going to head out off towards where I believe uh, the exit out of this area is, and then, yeah, we'll try our best to survive. We'll take some limited food materials with me. I'm not going to take my revolver. I'm going to leave that behind because it's heavy. I'm going to take the bow out with me because it's much lighter. So let's uh, drop off the revolver here. I probably don't need the feathers, but... We'll take them with us as they are light. Where is it? It's one of these weapons here. Drop. We'll take the ammunition for the moment. Uh, right. Space to equip that. Pop that away. Simple arrows, one, two, three, for some basic hunting while we're out and about. A little bit of bushcraft shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right. We want to make sure that we're fully fed and uh, got enough water. So one, two, three. We're going to take three, four litres of water and we're just going to eat as much as we can and then we're going to go. Hopefully, so let's uh, have a bit of fresh wolf meat. We'll have two of them, I think. Shall I have two of them? No, we'll have a little bit of our venison. Lovely. Water. Drink a bit of that up. And then, yeah, let's uh, let's head on out. I think I've got everything that I need. I've got my pry bar. I've got cloth for making repairs. I've got food. I've got water. I've got my storm lantern. Let's go. Very nice weather to actually be making the excursion. So where I'm going is somewhere out over this way. This weather's fantastic. The game knew we had plans to move on. Yeah, the worms. It's a 1% chance to get intestinal parasites. The chance of us actually getting it out there are pretty low. Hopefully we don't get too much shit. It's about midday in game. Still very, very overcast though, so there's every chance that the weather could take a pretty nasty turn. So we're aiming sort of here. Should be good. Put the wolf jacket on. Did I not? Did I make it? I don't think I'm didn't actually make it, did I? Did I make it? Did make it, okay. Uh, we want to put on this one then. There we go. There we go. Lovely, thank you. Totally, to totally didn't, it? totally forgot I actually finished it. There we go, we're not even cold anymore now. Look at that. We can take that spare bit of clothing with us. We'll leave the rabbits. Yeah, I should be able to do some basic hunter-gathering while I'm out there, so it's not too urgent that I take a shitload of food with me. I could have maybe taken some venison or something to eat, but we'll find food while we're going through. Especially if the weather is this good all the way through to the other side. A little bit of a wind chill starting to roll in. Nothing too outrageous, as I say. I know roughly where I'm going. I've got plenty of fuel in my lantern as well. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. There is a rock climb there. Did not know there was a rock climb there. Interesting. I think we're just going to go to the left of it. Up the hill if we can. It's going to be quite steep, and there's a fair old chance of spraining an ankle. But it's going to absolutely knacker us if we climb that. I'm guessing that's just a shortcut up the hill. You can hear the waterfall. Oh, ah, we're going to have to go yeah. for it, aren't we? Yeah, it's just a little bit too steep otherwise. Yep, okay, let's, let's make it happen. Thank you very much to Jaybar for the 28 months, sir. Good to have you in. Yeah, we should have enough strength to get up this. Should be able to rest in the Hydra down. Up we go. Very nice. Exhausting, but quick. And I suppose we're trying to make the best use of the good weather, so. So yeah, our exit point is somewhere against the out-of-map boundary, somewhere ahead of me. I believe this mountain peak 
is a good way for me to distinguish that. On a little bit of steep terrain, the game's trying to warn us about the potential of spraining an ankle. I've got a little bit of painkiller with me, but nothing. Oh. oh, there we go, that's fine. We'll just try and move past him. He's probably after the little bit of uh, wolf meat I've got with me. It's fine though. Oh, I'll we'll just keep yeah. going. If I find a maple sapling, I am going to have to uh, stop and try and partake. There's a dead animal out here. Dear. There's a road trail. I'm not entirely sure whether we've gone past the place that we needed to go. I'm pretty sure it's around here, but not entirely sure where it is. I know it's somewhere on this back wall, but I'm not sure if I'm too far left or too far right. Thank you very much there to Pronji. Careful with the woofs. I will certainly try to be. A little bit of old man's beard. If I wasn't being stalked right now, that would be a nice thing to go and get. I wonder if you'll be tempted to take the uh, deer and not me. I feel like I'm in the right place, but I don't know for sure. As a rabbit, I could get him to aggro on. I might go for the rabbit. Oh, look at this! Oh, you sneaky fuck. Look at that. One of the... <laughs> uh, one of the deer that ran off with our arrows. Fucking... The universe is a weird way of giving shit back to you. Here's the hunter's blind. I'm pretty sure where we're going is further left from here. So we need to go down. Pretty sure we already looted that. Yeah, that's got the dead guy in. Hunter's blind. I don't know, I feel like it's around... I don't know what... I think, I think that's maybe too far left. I think it's down here. Is that it there? Or that? I think it could be that. Or there. I think that's it. That looks like it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Only got one flare with us. Storm lantern fuel. There's a spare deer. Right. Off towards. Bit of a tricky one. There we go. Off towards the Carter Hydra Dam. Is this still sandbox? Yes, it is. So we'll snake through the Carter Hydra Dam. We'll try and make some good time if we can. Let's light this up. We actually found a rifle and stuff in here last time. I don't think I left any supplies. Um, we've already cleared out the Carter Hydra down in case people are wondering. My, I think my plan is going to be to try and spend the night at the, if I can, Mystery Lake cabins or the log, or the logging camp heading down towards Trapper's Homestead because I feel like the Trapper's Homestead is going to be one of the best places to go and get loot. Um, if I can, I want to push all of the way towards... Um, the Hydra down without stopping. I don't want to rest in these caves. I want to try and get exactly to where it is I want to go um, as quickly as possible. There we go. That little bit of venison was giving me away. So hopefully now I should not have a scent. And I can move on with uh, some speed. Hopefully. Oh, no, that's a dead end. Exit, do we? I think this is the exit we want. Yeah, that looks promising. Spare stick. Is this the way we want to go? I think it is. Dead guy. Spare rock for hunting rabbits. I believe. There we go. That's our exit. Oh, yeah. Carter Hydra Dam incoming. Thank you very much there to McPherson. I hope you're enjoying the new house. Miss these TLD streams. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. 700 people. Jesus Christ. We're going to be doing a slightly longer stream. I'm going to go and have a good explore. I'm really enjoying this. So I hear you have like 10 litres of water. It's not quite that bad. It's not quite that bad. Winding river. We'll grab these cattails. 
Those are always nice. I don't need the lantern on anymore, so I can save a bit of fuel. There we go. Turn that off. I've barely brought any food with me, to be honest. I've brought a very, very little amount of food due to the fact that basically all of the food that I have is, like... It smells. I could have brought some tin stuff, but... I can probably find tin stuff while I'm out and about here. My plan is to just get into the Hydra Dam and then start exploring the bulk of Mystery Lake. Maybe do a bit of fly fishing while I'm out there. And, uh, yeah, go from there. Should be uh, pretty nice. Get my bow out ready in case we get jumped. I have a very, very small amount of um, hunting bow left. Um, the exploration of Mystery Lake is twofold. I want it to both be a an excuse to get better... Um, equipment, grab some more ammunition for the rifle and things like that, maybe find um, a distress flare uh, gun uh, for scaring off big bears and things like that. Um, maybe finding more arrows, maybe finding another outright bow. I mean, there's every chance we could find just another bow. The Trapper's Homestead tends to be pretty good for stuff like that, as you know, it's a place for trapping, um, which is nice. There's sometimes a bear that hangs around here. Um, I've not seen him. I know he exists, though. He's uh, definitely wolves, but sometimes a bear or two. There is the Hydra Dam. That is our tar target destination. Sounds like he's home. Yeah, I can hear something nasty up there. Something large. Keep going. I don't want to waste this good weather. Because it's entirely possible once we get in there we could be snowed in in a blizzard for the next few days. And if that happens it's going to be annoying. But we should be alright. Now there were some wolves kicking around here last time. In fact there's one of them just ahead of us. I'm hoping we don't aggro him. I want to grab these because these are actually a nice way to create fires. And if need be a source of... Um, non-stinky uh, food because you can eat the stalks come on, there we go yeah looks like, yeah, there's a wolf covering the entrance there, but again, we'll try and skim oh, past him thank you very much to yeah. Hasbros, congrats on moving in with Jaina, I am very, very appreciative of your thanks that wolf is going there. He's killed a rabbit. I'm hoping that means he's not going to be too annoyed with me. There we go. Yeah, he's happy eating what he's got. Good man yourself. Sometimes there are like... Sometimes there's shit up here, but... We should be alright. We could have even killed that wolf for the sake of cooking him. But... Now what can you do? It's only really worth it if I could get a one-shot kill. And we're not too bad at the moment. We'll be a little bit hungry once things kick off. But we should be able to get through the night without eating, which will be fine. At Miss Jaina, have you guys broken in all the rooms yet? What do you mean? You terrible person. Terribly nice person. Come on, up and over. There we are. Sometimes a wolf that hangs around up on the high ground here. Hopefully not this time, though. Right. I think there was actually a deer carcass up and over here. I don't know whether it's still there, though. I don't think I pulled the meat off of it. I think I just got the, uh, what's it? Got some of the other stuff. Gonna be able to slice through the dam here. Very nice. A little bit of spare scrap. Okay, just gotta be careful going across here. Oof. Playing this game on new monitor is big scare. Very nice. Straight over. Can't hear any of the uh, crows over here, which makes me think the carcass has either decayed with age and despawned, or I did grab all of it last time I was over here. I think the second option is the more likely of the two. Right then, straight through the Hydra Dam if I can. Again, I'm trying to make use of the good weather for my excursion. Leave Winding River. Up we go. How's the new setup? Better than your, the one at your old place? place. Absolutely is. It is better. 
really 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 nice um yeah it's, it's just it is it's just a hundred times better yeah so we fully looted the hydra dam like we we did like a, a, a forward and second pass on it so i'm just gonna uh, skim through here i'm not gonna wait you would have thought the interior here would have been a bit darker but you know ah well only thing this place is good for now is a source of uh, scrap metal and wood and cardboard in all other regards, it served its usefulness to me. Maybe the occasional can of spray, spray paint has spawned, but uh, with regards to everything else, it's pretty thoroughly looted. Excellent stuff. So up and out the other side if I can. And then, yep, we'll explore some of the surrounding buildings, maybe get some rest if we can. This guy's going to be very tired here. Just have a quick drink of water, try and lighten the load for him. Anyone else getting a monster vibe? Yeah, yeah. There's all those fucking clothes that I dropped, empty cans and things, stuff that I couldn't really bring with me due to carry capacity. Cut through here. Found like a load of arrows here last time. It's got nothing else here though. Lovely. Didn't you leave some loot by the other exit? I probably did, if I'm honest. Up and over. out. Yeah, this has been an extremely good time to travel. We've uh, got pretty much our whole life in our in our rucksack here, but that's what it's had to take, so. Yeah, we can get up and out of the Hydra Dam. We'll get some rest. It's coming up towards night time anyway, so if I can just loot the immediate vicinity and then maybe try and stumble my way down towards the logging cabins. It's going to be a bit tricky because all the wildlife is going to be fresh spawned here, which means there's going to be a lot of it. There's normally a black bear that hangs around here as well, so you've got to be uh, mindful that he's probably prowling. Yeah, I've looted everything. So let's leave the upper dam. Loot, loot like a cheap monk, chipmunk, sorry. Leaving little stashes, that's, yeah. That's what's definitely one of the ways to do it. Tends not to really be anything in this scrapyard. Again, apart from a little bit of scrap, but in all other regards, oh, it can be quite yeah. quiet. Carter Hydra Dam discovered that it is. Thank you very much there to Elder Quacken for the 20 months of support. Very, very kind, matey. Thank you. So we got one of these railroad car things here. Service cars. Let's not shoot uh, an arrow at the gate. We'll check all of these outbuildings. And then we'll try and push a little bit down the railway line. So yeah, can of spray paint. Small arms handbook. I'm not going to bother with the spray paint. Not for me. Or at least not yet. There's a wolf there. He's chill. I'm just going to go inside. Okay. So yeah, the name of the game is little bits of food, scrap material. Not really scrap metal, but you know. Little odds and sod pieces of material. Just anything I can do, use at the new house. A zap energy bar, that'll do nicely. Could sleep here for just an hour or two. I might just get a little bit of kip. Nothing too heavy duty, just... Mm, if I'm going to sleep, I might as well sleep for the whole night. The energy bar is going to go a long way to keeping me topped up, and I've got a good number of cattail stalks to keep me fed. Do you know what? If I'm going to sleep, I might as well sleep for the whole evening. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to try and get to the next air, the next building in this little area, and then I can go from there. Oh, did you see you can rotate yeah. stuff now? I did not see that I could rotate stuff. Get towards this other cabin. I'm going to I'm just going to get in here. Next cabin. Lovely stuff. Sorry, Canadian. Thank you very much there for the tier one sub for ten months. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. You are most welcome here. Brilliant. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of newspaper roll fleece. Let's check this backpack. Lovely. Coffee. Definitely need more of that. Lovely stuff. A couple of lockers. Pry bar this locker open. Have a drink of water. Could end up being useful. Rifle cleaning kit. 10 kilograms. 
Grab that. Always good to have a couple of them. Spend newspaper. Grab that. We could actually sleep just in here for, for tonight. I think that's going to do nicely. If I sleep for 12 hours, I've got a little bit of food to sustain me. I've got enough water to sustain me. And then that's going to take us through to the next day. So I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. And we're going to wake up hopefully this time in the morning, which will be very nice. Oh, the hoarding game. That's it. Yeah. Peaches502. Thank you very much for the 22 months. Hope you're staying a sane during all this lockdown stuff. I'm certainly trying to. Can you use a rifle cleaning kit on your pistol? I have no idea. Honestly, no clue. Right, let's have our... Uh, let's see, our energy bar will... Yeah, we'll have our energy bar. It's 500 calories. It's going to be good. We'll have a few of our cattails as well. We'll see what visibility is like when we get out. Thank you very much. Uh, um, sorry, been a been a hot minute since you could catch stream. Um... How are you doing? I'm not doing too bad skydiving. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, visibility is pretty crap, but I know my way around this area well enough that I can just go where I want to go, even though it's pitch black. I can only hope that some of you guys can see this at home. I imagine 90% of you are just staring at your own reflection in your phone and or computer screen, but I can kind of see where I'm going, so I'm going to... Uh, Stay on the straight and narrow here and just try and push to where I need to be. I've got to get to a cross uh, junction. And there should be a dilapidated rail car there. You missed the box, did I? Uh, did I loot the first aid kit? I can grab it on the way back. Looks like a damn screensaver, that's it. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me here. I'm just trying to make good time. Uh, at night, I can kind of see. I've got the curtains drawn, so I can kind of see the screen okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much there, two steel bear punch. Hey, 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 good man. Thank you very much there for the 26 months, sir. Very, very kind. Here is the crossroads here. There's the dilapidated rail car. Fire up the torch a little bit for looking around there. There is normally one or two wolves hanging around here. I can only hope that the low visibility is going to help mask my... Uh, intentions to move through here and then it's going down that oh, way until we find the logging camp yeah. ng map thank you very much for the six months hope you're good i hope i hope so as well <laughs> uh, yeah i'm doing pretty good mate thank you a little bit of stuff that could be harvested here a little bit of food but you know, i'll try and survive off my uh, per non-perishable stuff i've got me a cattail stalks and everything let's uh, fire up the lantern for the sake of you guys As there's a train car just ahead of us that we can loot. It's like a worker's break now. We can just get inside. Should be able to uh, loot some of the kit in it. If indeed it has any kit, we've got a practical gunsmithing book. I mean, in and of its own right, that's good loot. Small bit of food, which I'm happy for. Don't really see anything else. Yep, just a small brake van type thing. Worker's car. Not much else in here, other than a brief respite from wolves. That's chill. Right, killing the light. Back to the darkness. The darkness. And then we are going left here. So my plan is to head towards the uh, logging camp to begin with. And then to push on to the uh, trapper's homestead. Bringing it full circle round towards um, the camp. The logging camp. Or not the logging camp. The... Uh, Camp, camping office, and then through the Mystery Lake homesteads, and then up and out. Um, if I was being more thorough, I know that there is a, a supply cache somewhere down here, but if I'm perfectly honest, grabbing everything in that supply cache and bringing it over here is going to be very difficult, just because it's it's going to be very it's going to be difficult. Uh, is 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 the long and short of it? I don't even know exactly where it is out there, and because it's dark, I don't want to be stumbling around in the woods just trying to find a small metal hatch on the ground so uh shouldn't be not shouldn't non-perishables be for when you're almost out of other food considering it doesn't perish yes um but i don't have any other food with me at the moment due to the fact that the perishable stuff the meats and things uh, give off a scent and i'm trying to um uh, leave a, as small of a footprint as i can as i move through here i actually see a small cabin out there so i'm going to go and explore that uh, just against the mists. The sun is starting to come up, so you should see stuff start to fade into the uh, foreground here. Yeah, it's just a couple of
couple of logs. I thought we were in moose country then. Here is the logging camp. Normally a couple of wolves hang around in close proximity here. There is actually an old watchtower that we can go and explore here. Uh, it should be ruined. Um, you need a rock climbing rope, as I understand it, to get to the other one. Um, here we go, logging camp. And grab a torch. Get inside and we'll have a look around for materials and things. Have you been here since the addition of the second tower? Yes. So yeah, the traditional watchtower is uh, typically now... Nobody needs this area. Yeah, that's behind. Don't really need any more oh, clothes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much there to Mr. Zach N6096. Finally managed to make it to a stream. How have you been, Q? I've been pretty good. Thank you, sir. Thank you for asking. A little bit of food. A little bit of drink. This stuff, which is nice. Excellent stuff. Not much else in there. A couple of materials here and there. Nothing else really. Can't see anything. Ammunition really is what I'm after. Or arrows. Ammunition or arrows. Let's try and explore all of these areas. Like I, say, I don't have a huge amount of lantern fuel. Grab these rose hips in case I'm getting a bit of advice. Uh, let's see here. Spare hatchet and a fire log. That'll come in handy. Very heavy. I'm going to leave it for now. I've got loads of hatchets at home. Can hear wolves out there. Arrows are not also ammunition. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Sports vest, not for me. Yeah, boxes of rifle ammunition, revolver ammunition. A spare storm lantern there. I think I can use this. I'm gonna take that because that has got quite a lot of fuel in it. It didn't have much fuel. There's no way to like bleed fuel out of it, so so you know what can you do? So it looks like a lot of this area here has been pretty a void thus far of uh, yeah materials. Not much going on here at all just yet. Uh, cap. Herbal tea actually is a really good find. Thin wool sweater is a shit find. Book is. I'll take it with me for fire starting. In a pinch. Nothing in there. Sweatshirt. So far, pretty lackluster. Orange soda. Okay. Next place I want to head to then. Thank you very much there for... Oh my god, 5,000 bits from Engimac. Congrats on the new house. Hopes this helps, helps with the education fund. It certainly will, sir. Very, very generous of you. Very generous of you. Okay, as I understand it, the new watchtower is somewhere up this hill. So I'm going to kill the light. Withdraw my bow. And we are going to continue again with a relatively low footprint up here because the new watchtower is much better than the old watchtower and again once we go off the beaten trail here there's every chance of us finding maple saplings and that is really perhaps the most urgent thing that i can find at the moment because again i, I do not have the materials to craft any more bows or anything that being funneled up this way absolutely a-okay what did the light ever do to you? I know, right? No, oh, thank you very much, Henji, Matt. That's very, very kind of you, sir. Yeah, we're pretty much all moved in. We're all sorted. I'm a... Yeah, familiar sound of it. Have a potential catch and kill. This tends to be wolf country. We're not really in bear country right now. Um... Bears tend to stay away from this area. There is a mist rolling in, so this is a bad time to maybe come away from the trail. I think I'm heading in the right direction, though. I should either come to the railway, at which point I can follow it to the right. There's a really heavy fog that's just rolled in. Visibility isn't... Yeah, visibility is awful, but the cold isn't too bad. sure this is the place that has the watchtower around it. I'm sure of it. There's a rock climb. 
I don't know exactly where that rock climb is though. I'm just going to hug this until I find what I'm after. The sun is coming up, so I do have that. But I'm pretty sure the top of this is where I'm supposed to be. There it is. I can see. You see those fences up there? anything as I come through but can't guarantee it. There we are. I think this is part of the new watchtower. I don't think this is part of the old watchtower. I think we're here. Well either way it's one of the watchtowers. Sounds like you brought the kitchen sink. Yeah we did a little bit. Visibility is starting to improve just a teeny weeny bit again which is nice. Don't want to break your legs on a gentle slope. I definitely don't. Yeah, the sun's starting to climb. Temperature is again not too bad. There's no blizzard. We're on our second day of okay weather, which is good. We're quite healthy in terms of tiredness and condition, which is awesome. So yeah, so far we're doing well. Yeah, we'll head up. Yeah, this is the new watchtower. Fan dabby dozy. Awesome stuff. This is a reasonably off the off the sort of beaten track spot, so there should be some okay gear in and around here. Maybe a box of ammunition, possibly a rifle, but again, that's not necessarily loot that I'm after. I'm after more, you know, spare knives and things, as I've got like a shitload of hatchets at home. Hatchets. Just checking around here before I head up on in. Yep, it's time to head on up. Lovely stuff. Awesome, saucem. Nice, just check the balcony. Bang pipe. In we go. Right. Let's see what we've got here then. So, yep, a box of five rifle round cartridges. Very good find. That's all. That's made. That alone has made it worth coming up here. Uh, we've got a sewing primer book. We got ourselves a wood stove. We got ourselves a can of pinnacle peaches. I've already got a book. Uh, medical cabinet. Sewing kit this. and an energy bar. Yeah, that was well worth it. Not much else here at the moment though. Uh, let's see. I could try and make it back down the trail. Quickly, yeah, let's not waste any time. We'll head straight back out, head down the trail if we can. That's everything. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing under the bed there. Nope. Around the bed we go. Not actually an awful place to base that. Like, it's not amazing because it doesn't have a crafting table. That means you can't really base for any long periods of time. Can we do an ordnance survey thing? I don't know whether we can, can we? I know you're meant to be able to. Charcoal use. Yeah, low visibility conditions. Yeah, too much fog to be able to do it. There's no point waiting. We'll head back down the trail. And carry on, hopefully, towards Trapper's Homestead. But I'm not entirely sure where this watchtower brings us out. I'm pretty sure it brings us out at a rock climb, but we were able to... Uh, snake our way in here. I'm sure we'll be able to snake our way out. Just making sure there's no hidden caches of materials hidden around. No, that's fine. The old pot noodle ass, that's it. Brilliant. Yeah, not intestinal parasites. We've just uh, we've just fought off a, a dose of intestinal parasites, which is nice. I'm glad we've been able to get through it all. So far, so good. Yeah, we'll head on back down here. Keep our exploration going. Light is really starting to come on up now, which is perfect. And the fact that we're going downhill means that we've got a much... A sort of a haste and speed here, which is nice. So we came on over there. 
pretty sure we can get off down here. I can hear those crows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the exit here. Down we go. Thank you very much there for the 100 bits. I am having an accent to me from Europe. I've always wanted a foreign accent. <sighs> Jesus. God help us all. God help us all. I feel like maybe committing down here is the wrong thing to do. I feel like I'm still on a cliff of some proportion. Just trying to trick the game into letting me climb over these things. Well, that is the railway line. Okay, well, at least I know roughly where I am. At least I know I'm by the railway line. Are we still coming? Okay. I'll get down. Ah, oh, here we are. Okay, I know where we are. Okay, this is alright. I wasn't necessarily planning to be up and around here yet. But there's usually some good supplies here. Revolver ammunition. Wolf very close outside. Spare rifle. Any rounds in it? Thank goodness. I'll take it with me. I might have to drop some gear. Not necessarily out here for the rifle, but can make a sprint for it. Easy there, sunshine. Thank you very much for the hundred bits there. Having trouble surviving? Find some salt and pepper and pour it over your head. You'll be seasoned expert in no time. Jesus Christ! I don't think he can do anything. move on. Pretty sure this is the way for the campsite. We've come a little bit further ahead than I wanted, but I'm pretty sure the campsite's just here. What was that AI? Yeah, they can't like handle climbing up and over like ledges and stuff like that, so climbing that log was a bit advanced. Bless him. There's a gap there. Interesting. Am I coming the wrong way? I don't think I am. Pretty sure what I want is just through here. Think I'm think I'm alright. Somewhere over here. And here. Crows off that way. Here we go. This looks promising. Cable going left. Camping office. Question mark. Should see it come out of the fog here. interesting through the fog just there here she is camping office very very nice what's this here just a sign okay camping office that's it on inside wasn't necessarily planning on being here yet but i'll get in there thank you very much there to take for the hundred bits there wolf didn't want to disturb you while you were rif rifling through the train i know right riffling riffling through the train right good spot to find potential ammunition and supplies this down vest spare material can sometimes be quite a lot to find in here um, we'll see whether the gods are kind based on by health oh, oh sorry i thought someone knocked the door an emergency stim very nice find uh storm lantern with not much fuel and we'll take the whetstone we'll take the fishing line Let's check out this. Very nice. Spare ammo. Any spare ammo. Might be some upstairs. 
that spray can stuff, a little bit of tomato soup, and a bandage. Oh, that was what I forgot. I forgot to come out here with spare bandages. I can manufacture some. A spare cooking pot. Genuinely quite worth it. A spare can opener. I think I've got multiple of them. Nothing under the stairs. Let's grab that. Very nice. A gaming laptop, I know, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, don't know she's, she, I don't know whether she's alive back there, chat. Okay. 100 bits there. Got invited to a cannibal dinner, but I was late, so they gave me the cold shoulder. Lovely. Right, uh, so we've searched all of that. I'm trying to be sort of quick, but thorough. Yeah, I'm trying to not spend too long in different areas. I do want to go to the Trapper's Homestead next, rather than into the lake cabins and stuff like that. Mm. Hi, chat. Hello. Revival round. Cube, Cube noises. Cube massage. Oh, beautiful. Too vigorous. Ah! Actually, just gonna. If, if you kill me, I can't make dinner. Could end up being useful. Raggedy jeans. No, thank you. I've seen your kill a carcass book. Very nice. Spare book book. Spray paint. Not for me. Search the corpse. Very nice. Just make sure I've not missed anything. Scraps of paper. Bedroll. Don't need a spare bedroll. Um, I believe I've got con Khan stuff in. Yeah, I've got... I went and got a... It's not the one we normally have. We normally have the Schwartz one, but it's... True. I didn't think of that. It's ruined. Okay. I guess we can... Yeah, I've got to head down to the railway and right then, I guess. Then we will be in their country. Which is going to be a bit of a bother, but... Hopefully that's alright. Should actually be able to navigate here just from memory. I could head on to the lake, but Trapper's Homestead. That's where I want to be. Right, so we'll head down to the railway cut and then we'll go from there. Um, I'm just going to have one of my shitty energy bars here. Might have both of them. So that's going to keep my hunger up. Nope. Loads of medicine, which is nice. Not many antibiotics, though. Was that a frog? I think so, prob probably. We're not far from the water. So, have a drink of water, speaking of. Right, on we go. 0.36 drank. No clothes allowed in bear country. Okay, look, I can't, I can't adhere to that rule. It can't be done. Yes, yeah, so we'll go all of the way to the end to where the uh, railroad crashes. That's, and then that could go on towards Forlorn Muskeg. And, I mean, hell, we could even go and make some more arrowheads while we're out here. What I'm really hoping for is a spare hunting bow, though. That's, like, king for me at the moment. That's really what I'm after. I see what you did there. That's it. So, yeah, there's not much else out this way. The cooking pot is really good because, like, the more cooking pots I can get, the more water I can put on to boil in a single sitting. You know, because at the moment I've only got three cooking pots which and a couple of tins. Cooking pots are able to take two litres and it really shows. It's really good. Unbearable, I know, right? Okay. Wolves down that way. So far, nothing too. So quite a lot of wolves down that way. There is a bear down there as well, as I say. So it's going to be uh, pretty nasty. If you shoot a bear, though, with a bow and arrow, it runs off. Which is quite nice. Would you like to go to the store and collect an onion? Nope, okay. What are we doing for tea then? Good question. Fair enough. Oh dear. Do pots have durability? They do, but I've been told that it only goes down if you ruin the food. So if you like... Oh, I 
to a crow, so which means we must be close to the end of the railway line. You know, most animals don't like getting shot by arrows. Yeah, it, I know, but there's some... Is that a wolf? Yes. Oh, okay. Leave me alone, sunshine. Go on, shoot. I'm not keen on wasting an arrow. I only just bloody found one. Normally some stuff in and around here. There's nowhere else for me to really go at the moment except transit between two areas. Could try and do the transit. See if the wolf de -aggros. I don't have anything that I could uh, appease the wolf with for the moment. There's normally some like basic first aid supplies or something up and around here. Here it is. I guess I could try and cut into the... I'll, see, I'll, I'll head into the train tunnel and see if I can get him to leave me alone. Because this is the start of Forlorn Muskeg. I wonder if I could just go in there and then just immediately come back. But like, carefully and quietly come back. Like so. Appease it with arrows. Temperature's Why fine. Is it I'm crouched. That seems way too low to be crouched. Antibiotics. I don't know if this is any good to oh, eat. Fuck no. First aid at its finest day. Eh? I might be able to get past him on the left here. on a rabbit. That's my window. Mm. Oh, fucking they're aggroing on something. And here, crows and stuff. Oh, ten pounds from Snack Monkey for you. I like your voice. You should be a narrator. Thank you. <laughs> ten pounds for that. Thank you. Very, very kind, sir. I should be a narrator. I should narrate things. Yeah, that requires... can't handle that. There are s so many... Like, at sounds and noises in the fog. I know roughly where I am, and I know that I'm literally stumbling into the bear's den here, but... Like, oh, what else can I do? This is like the D Dave's Holdout, or whatever it's called. NPC Dave's Holdout. Oh, no, no, not this hill. I think the next hill. I think it's the hill after this one. It's like a double hill. Fog's lifting. Visibility's up. Oh, shite in gosh. Okay. Um, can I just pop some painkillers for that? Uh, sprained wrist pain. <sighs> Again? Yeah, I did. I proper wrote that bulb off. If I had a bandage, I do have a bandage, but I don't want to waste it on my fucking wrist. I don't want to waste it on a small sprain. I'll, once I get to uh, the Trapper's Homestead. There we go. This is Dave's holdout, or whatever it's called. And the trapper's homestead is just beyond. There's the bear. Way out there. Lovely. Not much else in and around here. Just the occasional feather. Max, Max's last stand, even. Survive the outdoors. Oh, and a flare, actually. That's quite helpful for us. Now the actual through road towards um, the 
what's it called? Not Forlorn Muskeg. Uh, Milton. Milton Town is right here. That was where like a lot of our supplies came from when we were last here. Like Milton Town uh, has a uh, has a pass through just here on the left. I could try and explore that cave a little bit. Should be cool. Okay, we'll head inside. We need to rest for like a, a good like, amount of time anyway. Just because of the fact that we're quite tired. Yeah, but the Milton Cave is somewhere up in there. I think it's just there, in fact. Which is cool. There's actually a moose around here once upon a time. Dead deer in here. Oh dear. Right, a bit of firewood. Anything further in? Nope. was actually a moose around here once upon a time. It spawned at very, very rarely, like one day a month, if that. Um, yeah, he's not here now. I'm glad that we've got, like, some decent warm winter gear, though. Like, it's good. It's good. But I really love this place as, like, a fucking base. I'd, I'd love to base here again. It's just annoying, though, because I shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I could for, like, a time. Because it's such a good place to base. You've got Forlorn Muskegs Forge right next to you. Like, I could have left, lasted here indefinitely. I, I lasted like 200 days here. Really good. Are we home now? Well, that's it. Did you ever finish the story? I, I never started the story. Excellent. Just a revolver. Don't need that. Tin of food. We've got a safe. Always nice. Matches. Another bit of food. Wilderness kitchen. A rifle round as well. No rifle up on there. Grab the book. Uh, let's see what else here. Rabbit snare. What have we got up on the shelf here? Sewing kit. Very important. Storm lanterns and a fresh cooking pot. Also very... Oh, this loads of cooking pots. Hallelujah. fucking Luya. That, that. Oh, spare crate of rifle ammunition. Very good. Locker. One of the heavy duty lockers. Sometimes it's decent gear. Yeah, yeah. See what we've got. Sewing kit. Climbing socks aren't too bad, actually. We'll take them. Uh, first aid kit, not too bad. Grab that. Yeah, I'm not going to use this as a base. Um, it's a little bit out of the way. Like, you can be self-sustainable here. A couple of re revolver cartridges on the floor there. Very, very nice. Yeah. It's such a, it's such a good fucking little base, though. I, I'd love to actually... I'm almost tempted to come back here. Like, oh, and live here again. Yeah. Like, this... This was the shit. This was my pad. For the longest time, I'm almost tempted for nostalgia's sake to come back here. It's a good hunting spot. It's so good. It's the best. Absolutely love it. Right then, so what's the time now? It's half past three. We've been going for about two and a half hours. We could leave this here and make it into an outpost. I'm not a big fan of outpost gameplay. I'm very much somebody that has to loot everything around and then bring it all back to a central area. There's the bear. Right, I'm actually going to love and leave you here, chat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause here for, for now. Right, so, yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. A massive thank you to everybody who subbed and dropped bits and donated and everything else in between today. You've all been massively, massively generous. And I'm glad you've, uh, you've enjoyed the stream. I'm just going to quit out to the main menu there. Good man. How much am I even carrying? Too much. Too much. So, yeah, let me see um, who else is online for your eyeballs to be consumed today. Let's see then. You can't leave us. I'm leaving you, chat. That's how it is. You can't, um, you can't mute in that. Right, so Sinai's playing Mafia 2, Digby's playing Squad, Alistair is playing Minecraft, and Smeagol is playing Modern Warfare. I think it's going to be Mr. Smeagol for you today. Do feel free to send him my best. He's an all-round lovely queen, so he is. He's a very nice guy. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everyone, and I will hope to see you all again in the not-too-distant future. I believe I'm playing Armour tonight, um, but I will see a bit closer to the time. Um, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, wherever that you hail from. And uh, we'll be back to doing some more regular streaming over the next few days. Like, it might still be a little bit intermittent based on, you know, house obligation stuff that I have to do. But by and large, they should be back in uh, some, some measure. So a big thank you from me again. 
Uh, thank you from me and Jaina both, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.